brief history of the Alta survey is they were created in 1960s, early 1960s, and periodically updated every four or five years. But they're created by a joint uh, task force, if you will, the American Land Title Association, which is ALTA, and the National Society of Professional Surveyors, NSPS. Those two organizations jointly combine to create these standards and update them periodically. The purpose of the standard is to is mainly in the title industry. The title industry looks to the surveyor to give them information about a piece of property on the ground uh, so they can issue title insurance. And if there's any problems on a survey or on a property revealed by the survey, they will, what's called, take exception to those on the title policy if there's a problem or encroachment or an issue. We get asked a lot from clients about the ALTA requirements and what are the different parts of it. There are basically two parts of the ALTA standards. The base ALTA, which is what all of the surveys have to, the requirements that all the surveys have to meet. Then there's an optional set of requirements that you can choose to add on if you wanted to. The base ALTA requirements include things that uh, are similar to a boundary survey, the improvements, uh, the boundary location itself, uh, easements, things like that, that the title company would want to see that affect the property. Some of the optional items that you can choose are things like underground utilities, uh, which, we've ta which is a very common topic, and also things like contours, elevations, uh, things that you might use for design on a survey. So th some of those can be added if needed, but you don't have to have them on every survey.